All right, just about 5.16 this Saturday morning. Mike's here now for a closer look at the weather. I mean, the damage this morning, walking outside, seeing those tree branches down and all of these leaves, I think it shows just how much of an impact that storm yes. had yesterday. It was significant. Yeah. It took me like 40 minutes to get home yesterday. Normally it's about wow. a 20 minute drive. Mm -hmm. uh, Route one in Scarborough, I mean, the ponding on the water, the ponding on the roadways was awful. Yeah. It was tough to travel. This morning, thankfully, we aren't really dealing with any of that. Okay, good. So we're getting things out of the way, and it sounds like power's back on for most people. Yeah, so. certainly made big improvements, and this weekend just looks about perfect. We'll start off with a graphic that I was hoping I wouldn't have to update, and good news is I did not. Okay. Uh, these are confirmed tornadoes so far across New England. Vermont still leads the way with three confirmed tornadoes, two in New Hampshire confirmed this year, one in Connecticut, but none in Rhode Island, Massachusetts, nor in Maine. Maine averages two tornadoes per year, but uh, last year we were quiet and we only had one confirmed in 2020. And uh, I think that as we get into September, especially our chances for severe weather, especially across northern New England, start to drop back quite a bit. But you never know, we'll be watching should that change. The big story for this morning is going to be this. We can finally see some light through the fog here, but this isn't just because the uh, camera is dark. I mean, you can visually see the fog around the street lights in Portland. This is the big story for this morning, patchy dense fog. We had perfect conditions to get some patchy dense fog across the region with heavy rain yesterday, introducing more moisture and dropping temperatures. It's not much of a shock to see patchy dense fog right now, but that's all going to mix out over the next several hours. The radar looks great now, really not much to talk about here. Some mid-level clouds and some upper level clouds may linger around. And then I think that this afternoon we'll see some cumulus clouds pop up. Not really expecting any showers today though it certainly looks like a much drier day with a lot less moisture to tap into if we time it out hour by hour temperatures stay in the mid 60s through most of the morning it's not until 11 where we actually get a bit closer to the 70s i am expecting temperatures to top out for many inland in the mid 70s maybe even a couple upper 70s sprinkled in at the coastline more likely the low to mid 70s a bit of a sea breeze develops later this afternoon that's going to keep temperatures down a bit but notice the western mountains and central highlands only stay in the 60s later today certainly a much cooler day than where we were for uh, most of the rest of the week. Later on tonight, we'll clear things back out. A little bit of patchy fog tomorrow morning, but I don't think it's going to be as dense and I don't think it's going to be as widespread. And then temperatures tomorrow should rebound pretty quickly with more 70s in the forecast. So humidity drops back, high pressure and control tomorrow and today. Lots of sunshine, very pleasant conditions out there. But by Monday, we shift our wind to be back out of the southwest. This is going to pull in more humid air. Uh, certainly noticeably muggier by Monday. And then Tuesday, we track this next storm system through the Great Lakes. Along the cold front, I'm expecting showers and thunderstorms to develop. Most of those will be to our west on Tuesday, although we could see a couple of stray storms that actually move through here. The rain has certainly been helpful to try to get rid of some of these precip deficits that we've been dealing with. Uh, remember, Portland was approaching a nine inch deficit. Now it's more like five and a half inches. Augusta could still use a little bit of work though with a three inch deficit. And I think that we'll mix more rain in next week, so I'm optimistic that we'll see improvements there. Seas around three to four feet, north wind five to ten knots becoming east in the afternoon. Temperatures inland for the next couple days in the 70s, but by Monday we're back to the mid 80s. Similar on Tuesday with a chance for some pop up storms, but they're more likely on Wednesday. The coast is pretty similar here, uh, certainly summer like to start off the week. Thursday marks September 1st, and we'll start to clear things out pretty slowly Thursday, but by Friday, we're back to like 55 at night, 75 during the day, maybe feeling a little bit crisp in some spots. Mm -hmm. uh, it's yeah. the best weather for sure. Also, yeah. it's hard to believe that it's September almost. I mean, this summer has flown by. Yeah, it went by in the blink of an eye. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Mike.